Uh, this question is from with Matt Chan. Um, Matt, um, you're the man with the plan. Um, do you have any for this weekend? Please repeat the question. We'll yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're basically uh, the man with the plan. So, do you have a plan for this weekend? Is this thing working? <laughs> uh, I am old. <laughs> I get beat up fast, so the big plan for me is to recover between each day. Um, sitting on a rower for 21,000 meters is uh, not, a, not something I would recommend for anybody, let alone somebody of my age. And I'll tell you this much, um, I've never felt these muscles in my butt that I feel right now, <laughs> and they require a little bit of TLC. So I've been up in my room with uh, my pain management guy, and he is... Uh, Digging his thumbs deep into my butt. Is that okay? That's my plan. Thumbs in my butt. Well said. Well said. Bring it over here. Was, the, was the question basically, can we get enough carbohydrate from a paleo diet? Here's what I'm going to tell you about each of the athletes that you see in front of you. These guys have all played with, with their diets to some degree and they figured out what works for them the best. I think with a paleo diet, <clears throat> you're gonna have to choose sources of carbohydrates that are a little bit uh, more dense in carbohydrates. So if anybody here is following a true strict paleo diet, you're gonna see that they're gonna be using stuff like roots and tubers for their, for their uh, source of carbohydrates because it is so dense in carbohydrates. It also converts well into, into glucose, then into glycogen, so on and so forth. Um, but I think that most of these people that you see in front of you probably don't follow a very strict paleo diet. That'd be my guess. I, I particularly stick to a strict zone diet where it's the prescriptions that Barry Sears originally came up with. The idea is that with the demand on your body, or what he calls the uh, activity factor, um, based on your lean body mass, you should eat this amount. And here at the CrossFit Games, our activity factor goes through the roof. So what that allows me to do is change my input or, or my food based on the level of activity that we're doing. So we rode 21,000 meters yesterday. I normally eat 19 blocks. Yesterday, I ate 24 blocks. If you don't do that, if you don't do that, you risk going to a caloric deficit and then on Sunday, losing because of it. And, uh, I found that the zone diet is really good to kind of manage the, the caloric intake so that by the end of the weekend, your food isn't what's limiting you. <laughs> so the question is, uh, here at the CrossFit Games, most of the athletes have boyfriends or girlfriends. Do they, uh, spouses, do they abstain from a uh, sexual relationship <laughs> to maintain <laughs> From what I understand, there's something called chi, and you can't give it away to everybody every day, or else you lose your chi, and then all of a sudden everything falls apart. Sunday, I hold on to my chi until the games are over. That's that's my feeling about it. Anybody else uh, hold on to your chi?